What is up guys, Out and Pound here, here to give a quick video on, you know, just popular culture in general, comparing it and, you know, really contrasting it with anime and manga, you know, trying to decide, you know, which one's better. And for this, I think I should start off with uh, popular culture, meaning like TV shows, cable, you know, what comes on TV these days. Um, and, you know, I think I should distinguish uh, in general popular culture from modern popular culture because I do believe that what I've been seeing on TV has gotten gradually worse and worse from since I uh, from the time I used to watch it um, why do I think I'm credible to talk about this well basically because I used to be a big fan of television I used to actually watch TV programs a lot more than I actually watch anime and manga although I did watch them you know I, there was a period of time where I watched both, but what I really, really uh, came to seeing in TV programs in comparison to anime and manga, since I was watching both at the same time, is that when I was watching Cable, um, it really lacked what I would like to start off with emotion. It really lacked emotion when, uh, even on, in the best TV shows, uh, I used to like TV shows like Burn Notice, House, you know, uh, I'm not going to get into the really, really old cartoons because those were, those were some good stuff in my opinion. But when we start coming into the newer age of television, especially with programs like, uh, or um, stations like MTV, VH1, we, we gradually keep seeing a decline in the quality of what actually comes on. And, you know, I know there are some things, just like in anime and manga, there are some things that are designed to just not be taken seriously, and there are some things that are designed to be taken seriously, but I think what separates these two things is the fact that anime and manga has a way of connecting you more with the characters and really relating to you. Um, this is what I've found, by the way, but I really do relate more with my favorite anime manga characters than my favorite TV show characters. And aside from that, the fact that it is animated, you know, actually animated, rather than being acted out by, you know, live in a studio setting by, by uh, normal actors, you know, the thing I've realized that separates uh, anime manga and, and cable TV is you can really go a lot more all out with an animation and make it some good quality animation where new and innovative things happen rather than you can, uh, the things you can achieve with stunt doubles, let's say, um, you know, special effects. You know, these things, these things after a while, you know, they take a hell of a lot more budget than anime and manga does, but other than that, you know, you, you really get to a point when you're watching TV where you really haven't, you can't see any, you haven't seen anything new. Nothing new comes around. You know, there are no breakthroughs being made in that sense where you'll be seeing, you can't, you, if you watch TV, you, you probably know what I'm talking about. You constantly see the same things happening over and over and over again. Now, I'm not saying there's absolutely no innovation because I, I do have my favorites as far as TV shows go, you know, as far as uh, one, one on watch. I already said Burn Notice, it's probably one of my favorite TV shows, along with, you know, Breaking Bad. Uh, Game of Thrones, you know, there there are some good ones, but even the good ones, I have to say, some anime and manga completely overshadow them. And, you know, that, that brings me to my next point, you know, if anime and manga is a lot better than TV, which it is in my opinion, you know, regular cable TV, why do they not get as much shine? Why do they not get as much appreciation? And that brings me to the concept of, or the topic of people being just closed-minded in today's society in general which I think it, it, it does play a part in the popularity of anime and manga just as much as it plays a part in the, ca uh, in the, in the fact that TV shows these days are just getting more and more, you know, more and more dry and, and less emotional, less, they have less feeling to them, less uh, innovativeness, you know, because people are just so close-minded, you know. Um, perfect example would be the, the Toonami block, you know, it's it's late 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 at night once a week you know people just aren't giving things a chance you know it, it's really really sad in my opinion that a whole genre uh, such as anime you know is just you know isolated and hidden away from the general public and it's really I mean it doesn't sit well with me but you know what are we gonna do but yeah that, that's that's why that people shows in America I can say this in America some trashy ass shows such as you know 
I mean, much love to the Kardashians, you know. I mean, hey, they're hot. But I mean, <laughs> um, Kim and Chloe go to Miami, or, you know, uh, Life with the Kardashians. Um, that one Playboy show, I forgot, whatever, you know, all the trash that goes on on TV today, you know, gets a lot more love from the American public rather than anime and manga in general, such as One Piece, you know, Hunter x Hunter, Code Geass, from the Aquas Brotherhood, the list goes on. But yeah, the, uh, these shows are getting a lot more love that they don't necessarily have a right to claim, in my opinion, because they simply don't have substance. You know, a lot of these shows on TV just do not have substance in the least bit. You know, and I'm only speaking for American television because that's the only thing I have access to, but that's just my honest uh, thoughts, feelings, and opinions on this. You know, um, but that's just me. That's just what I have to say. Of course, I'm going to say this. I'm not completely, you know, against TV and, you know, movies because they do have gems. There, there are hidden gems, but I would say out of the anime and manga I have watched and out of the TV shows, you know, all that stuff that I've, I've watched as well, I see usually more great anime and manga being released on a, a regular basis than I see good TV shows that have substance, you know, that matter or that are relevant at all to me as a person. You know, but that's just my two cents on this, guys. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think on this topic. You know, it was Alvin Palance here, just giving you, you know, I guess it's a real-world topic on popular culture versus anime and manga. Peace out, guys.